Hi everyone, my name is Mary, and welcome back to Quinique. Today, in Saturday Granny, we are going to do something called Messy Fall. Um, I'm using a different type of yarn, and it looked kind of messy to me. Um, so this is going to be a very easy one, and it's going to be very quick. Alrighty, so let's find out what kind of tools that we are going to need for the messy cranny. And don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials such as this one and others I will do in the future. Alrighty, so the tools that you are going to need in order to make your messy cranny is going to be a needle with a large eye hole, a pair of scissors, and a crochet hook of your liking. I am going to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and of course your yarn any type of yarn that you would like I've had this one for years I'm sure you could find it um, I don't remember the color um, but I know it looks very fall alrighty so let's get into the tutorial on how to make this okay so in order to make the messy granny you're gonna to want to make a slip knot to put your yarn onto your fingers make a loop put that yarn behind the loop like this and go in and in and pull tight and then we have our slip knot I'm gonna start with a foundation single crochet of 17 so you're gonna make two chains yarn over and pull through and that will make your second chain because you already have your first chain this will be your second chain uh, no I'm sorry yarn over and pull through that will be your second chain one on your hook does not count as a stitch or a chain alrighty go into the very first stitch uh, that you made from the beginning of the round grab your working yarn and pull up loop yarn over and pull through to make a chain yarn over and pull through to make a single crochet and then you're gonna go back into this one's a little easier to see you're gonna go back into this stitch right here that I was pulling apart grab your working yarn and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through just that one stitch to make a chain and yarn over and pull through both to make a single crochet I'll be back in a few minutes to make a uh, because uh, I'm going to make 17 foundation single crochets. Alrighty, so I made 17 foundation single crochets. Remember, you are always working on the bottom of your work. That's why your yarn tail is always flipped up. So now that you've made 17, you're going to flip it over like this. And now you'll be working on the bottom and your yarn tail will now be on the bottom of your work. We are now going to make sure you don't lose that stitch. You're going to chain one and we're going to put one double crochet into that stitch and we're going to be doing double crochets and chain one stitches. So once you make that first double crochet, you're now going to chain one, yarn over and pull through. We're going to skip our next stitch and go into the next stitch in order to make this pattern so you're going to chain one you know you're going to skip that stitch and into this stitch right here you're going to put a double crochet so we're kind of making like uh, open spaces as you can see we're going to do that all the way until we get to the end of the row so chain one skip a stitch yarn over go into the next stitch and double crochet chain one skip a stitch yarn over go into the next stitch and finish your double crochet just like that and i will meet you at the end of the row in just a moment 
Okay, I have made it to the end of the row. You should chain one. You should have one more um, stitch to skip and one more stitch to double crochet into. That's why I made 17 foundation single crochets. Uh, odd numbers seem to work better with meshes like this. Okay, so that was round number one. Row number two, you're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to put one double crochet on top of that double crochet from the previous round. There we go. Now into that chain one space, we're also going to put a double crochet. And this one is going to be the offset row. So that means instead of doing a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet, we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and skip a double crochet, and then double crochet into the chain one space. So you're going to chain one, skip your double crochet, and double crochet into the chain one space, just like this. So I did an offset one. So you're going to chain one, skip your double crochet and chain one into the space uh, excuse me double crochet into the spacing skip the double crochet chain one and then double crochet into the spacing chain one skip your double crochet double crochet into the chain one space And I'll just do this real quick since we're almost at the end of the row. They were almost there. I have one more chain one, skip the double crochet, and double crochet into the chain one space. And then I'm going to do it one more time. So chain one, skip your double crochet and double crochet into the chain one space and then you're going to double crochet into this last stitch on the side here so yarn over and it's this one right here a lot of times your stitches will get a little twisted there we go you know put your double crochet right into that and that is round number two Alrighty, so we are back for round number three. Technically, it'll be round number four since you'll count this foundation single crochet. So this down here was row number one, this was row number two, and this was row number three. So we're technically on row number four. If you don't count the foundation single crochet, then we are on row number three. I'm gonna chain one, turn your work, and this one is just going to be half double crochets. So you're going to yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three to make a half double crochet. You're just going to put one half double crochet into every single stitch and then into the chain one. I just went into the spacing instead of into the stitch. So half double crochet into the double crochet from the previous round yarn over go into your spacing grab your working yarn and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three so i'm going to do that all the way until i get to the end of the row and i'll be back in just a moment Alrighty, so I've made it to the end of the row and I just have one more half double crochet to put into that very last stitch. And that will end row four or row three. Alrighty, so now we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we're going to do that half double crochet row one more time. And then what I ended up doing was repeating, we'll just call this row number one. So I ended up repeating row number one and row number two and then three and four. 
So we are on row number four. So I ended up repeating these two rows until I got to the length that I wanted. I will meet you at the end of the row in just a few moments. Alrighty, so when you've made it at the end of row number four, you just have one more stitch to put into that very last stitch at the end of the row. And that's what it looks like. And then you'll just repeat row number one. And row number one was actually a chain one. Turn your work one double crochet into that half double crochet now. Then you're going to chain one, skip a stitch, and into your next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. That was row number one. Chain one, skip a stitch, go into the next one, yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull through and pull through. Alrighty, again, chain one, skip a stitch go into your next stitch and make a double crochet and you'll do that until you get to the end of the row once you have made it to the end of the row you should have a chain one that you make a stitch that you're able to skip and then one last stitch that you're going to put a double crochet into if you're wanting to make this again but you want it to make it bigger, just make sure that um, your first row is odd instead of even. Okay, so then for the next round, you're going to chain one, turn your work, put one double crochet into the top of the double crochet from the previous round, and one double crochet into the chain one spacing. This one is the offset row where I chain one, I skip that double crochet, and I put a double crochet into the chain one space next to it. Just like that. Chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet into the chain one. Spacing. Just like that. And you'll do that until you get to the end of the row. And I will meet you at the end of the row in just a moment. Okay, when you have made it to the end of the row, you should have one more chain one to make, one more double crochet to skip, and one more double crochet to put into that chain one space. And then you just put one double crochet into the end uh, of the row right there. So one more double crochet right there and that is the offset row and then you'll just do two rows of half double crochet the original one that I did was this one and I ended up doing 12 rows so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two more rows Excuse me, it's upside down. I'm gonna do two more rows of the half double crochet, and then I'm gonna do two more rows of the, or one more row of the open spaces, or the mesh. Okay, so I will be back shortly, and then I will show you how to do the border that goes around, and it's very easy and very simple. Okay, I'll be back in just a few moments. Alrighty, so I'm back and I made the two rows of half double crochet. I made the two rows of mesh. And so we are ready to begin and finish off our border. Um, so what I ended up doing was I chained one, turned my work, and I ended up single crocheting across the top. I wanted to make sure that um, whatever I did on the bottom down here was going to correlate with the top as well. So since we did a foundation single crochet border, I wanted to make sure I had single crochet on the top. And yes, I am actually going under the chain one spacings and pulling up a loop. 
and making a single crochet instead of going into stitches. Uh, as for the double crochet, I am going into the actual stitch. Yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through two. But this one I am going under, as you can see, pulling up that loop and finishing off my single crochet. Alrighty, let me just get to the end of the row here and then we will s This is kind of the start of the border. It is also finishing off the messy granny, uh, excuse me, the messy fall granny. Okay, last two stitches. I got to the last two stitches. I ended up changing the stitch to half double crochet. So this top portion finished off the actual granny. Okay, so whatever I did down here was a sink foundation single crochet. Wanted to finish off with a single crochet at the top. Now as for the border, I wanted a half double crochet. So I yarned over, went back into that stitch for two half double crochets so I could actually turn the corner. And then I just looked over here for any spacings and I just put a half double crochet right into it. Just like this. And then into this bigger spacing, I just put one half double crochet instead of two, something like that. I felt I didn't need too many stitches in here. And then any spacing that I saw, I just put one half double crochet into the side right here. Okay, just like that. I know sometimes working into the side can be a little confusing because you don't have actual stitches you have these spacings and so all I do is I'm gonna not skip this spacing right here even though there's a stitch right in between there I'm just gonna go into it and that's pretty much all I did. And I am going to go into that spacing right there and then into the double crochet row right here. This is double crochet. You're just going to put a half double crochet around that post. And that's what it looked like. Or what it looks like. Um, so we're getting closer to the bottom right down here. And we're gonna actually cro the, crochet this into our work so we don't have to sew it in. We have a few more stitches. almost there and then you can do the other side I'll let you do the other side like you did this side this one's a little bit different because over here we did a chain one so this is still your double crochet but you can still go into the spacing right there so it'll be a tad different but about the same don't make it too complicated just find spacings and make it very easy okay one more big spacing right here before we get to the end piece okay so now that we are at the end piece right here this is where I put three half double crochet so not into this little spacing but into the actual chain right there as you can see I put a half double crochet right into there, right under the knot. So I'm going to do one, I'm going to do two, 
and I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to do one more stitch trying to get the yarn tail out of the way now you have stitches that you can actually work into don't make these as complicated as they look I know you may have a spacing right here and you also have one right there you can go into either one uh, what I ended up doing was just going underneath right into the spacing making it easier on myself instead of trying to go oh is that a stitch or is that a stitch because it looks like you have two stitches there make it easy just go right into it like that and to crochet your yarn tail you're just going to put it right on top of your stitches like that let's move the light so you can see that so see how i put the yarn tail right on top and it's actually inside of the stitches okay so all you're going to do is you're going to single crochet until you get to the other side and i will meet you down here in just a few moments okay when you have made it down to the end right here we're going to put three half double crochets all into this sp stitch slash spacing okay three all together this will help us to turn the corner and give you some nice and straight smooth edges Ooh, I split my stitch. there we go okay three half double crochets just like that makes it nice and smooth and then you're just going to find spacings go right into them and I will meet you we'll do a couple on on camera for you so I'm going to go into that spacing and this one and then I'm going to go into this big one right here and then I'm going to see all these little spacings right here some of them you can't see and some of them you can just like that these are the half double crochet stitches right here that we are crocheting into right on the side of them and then when you get to something like this uh, like something like this don't make it too complicated just find spacings just like this and all I did was go right into that spacing for one half double crochet and then there was the double crochet and I went right in to it just like that and that is what it pretty much looks like make it very easy and very simple any spacing or hole that you see go right into it if your hook does not allow you to go into it then skip it okay I will meet you at the end right here in just a few moments okay we are back and I made it to the end as you can see okay so I'm gonna go into this spacing for one more stitch and then into this actual single crochet stitch right here I'm going to put three half double crochets. There is Sonia. I was looking for her. There's my baby girl. And there's my coffee. She is, was laying on the side of my desk over there. I made a um, little laying place for her. So when I do videos or I crochet, she can lay down and be right next to me instead of trying to lay on my crochet okay so we're going to put three half double crochets into this single crochet stitch one two and three just like that make it nice and smooth and then you're just gonna half double crochet into every single stitch until we get to the end and I'll get there in just a minute 
Okay, there we go. And this will finish off our border for our mm, messy fall Saturday granny granny square. It'll be something more fall-like since I couldn't think of anything for Halloween and I really like Halloween a lot. Okay, we are almost there. Just a couple more stitches. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay. So you can also put, you could have also put a stitch marker right here to let you know this is the end. So this is the half double crochet right here. And we're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And the other way I could tell is because there's three stitches into one stitch so those are the half double crochets we're going to slip stitch that finishes off the actual border and then uh if you want to go around again and do another row a half double crochet you you are more than welcome to i thought one row of half double crochet was good then you'll just cut your yarn Yarn over and pull through, pull through, and tighten. And this is what the messy fall granny square looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made your day. I hope that you are having a wonderful October. Um, I know that we are uh, nearing the end of the year and hopefully I can try and get more holiday stuff out as best as I can. Alrighty, until next time everybody, don't forget to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to let me know you're enjoying this video and I will see you next time. Everybody have a wonderful day and bye bye